This is Day C, and I'm Marie. We've enjoyed raising chickens together for several years. I've got the chickens for Daisy to herd because she's a border collie and needs to have a lot of things to do. Recently, I've had a lot of people ask me about my egg production throughout the cold winter. They keep asking if my eggs, uh, my chickens have slowed up on laying eggs through the winter. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen a difference. That is Fahrenheit, minus six Fahrenheit. We've got a terrible cold snap here right now. Uh, I didn't really feel like going outside, but I always do go out to the animals, make sure they've got food, water, and anything go wrong I, I need to fix or take care of. So here's my flock out in the cold. I come out with produce, leftover produce from the house, uh, eggshells, and whatever else they might like. And this is what I find in my nesting boxes. Um, first thing in the morning, I, I sort of refer to these as my morning layers. They have their eggs first thing in the morning before I get out there. And this is about half my flock right here. I, I don't have a big backyard flock. So, um, and that's first thing. I'll get a few more eggs before the end of the day. Here we have one of my Marians claimed that box before I collected the eggs. So, um, yeah, I'll just have to wait on those. She'll keep them warm. I'm trying to pick them up before they freeze and crack. In this temperature, the eggs have cracked and broken in the box if I don't get to them soon enough. I go out to the chickens and you can see um, it's warmed up to a nice one degree Fahrenheit. It's still very cold. We were lucky the wind finally did settle down so it wasn't too windy and the chickens finally came out of the coop. When it's very windy they won't come out. And you see here all the ice I've been making uh, using these little loaf pans to give them water. During the rest of the year, I have buckets with metal nipples on the bottom to water them. This is the most important ingredient I've got to make sure I get plenty of eggs year-round. Chickens need a pint of water every day to survive, and they probably drink a whole lot more than that because an egg is made up mostly of water, and so isn't the shell. The rest of the year I can use that bucket, that five gallon bucket has a metal nipple on the bottom, but it freezes solid and they can't use it as soon as the temperature reaches 32 Fahrenheit. So I've got to carry water out. I flip over these pans, use hot water to break the ice out, and flip it back over and pour hot water into the, into the pans. My girls have plenty of uh, fresh, clean water to drink. And there's my bricks. Looks like I'm going to start my own igloo or something. Uh, they've got to have water. Plenty of fresh, clean water. The vernal springs in the area are frozen over as well. They can't get water anywhere else. They have to have it. And it freezes very quickly. So um, for me, two to three gallons of water is what all these birds require. And to leave a little left over. And some to spill. I've got messy birds. Well, I hope this helps you uh, keep healthier chickens and get more egg production from your chickens. Water is essential, and they don't have it when it's below freezing or in a drought. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.